Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to this week's video. We are at MacArthur State Park. We were checking this park out again at um, a different time of the day than we had previously been there. Just seeing if that would give us a better chance at finding some shells. This was in the morning and the previous time we were here was in the afternoon. So the morning tides are a little different than the lower tides in the afternoon and we're hoping to find some pretty cool shells. If you want to see what we find, just keep on watching. making our way onto the beach here. As you can see, we were the first people on the beach that morning. We were the first ones in the park and out onto the beach, there's no one there. We'll find a couple of cool shells today and you'll have to watch until the end to see that and we'll say hi to some sea friends. First shell was a bittersweet clam. Those are my boyfriend's favorite, so he was showing me that. And as I mentioned before, he typically will snorkel in the water along with, with me as I walk on the shore. So he was hopping in the water as I started to make my way up the beach. There's no one on the beach with me yet. Just some clam shells, some arc shells, and slippers on the beach looking for anything special. First thing that caught my eye was this piece of a helmet conch. Haven't found a full one yet or even a different kind of piece. Usually I'll find that piece of it, but I do really like it. And I think I took it home. saw a familiar shape in the seaweed and all the clamshells. It's a scotch bonnet. The first one of the day and look at that beautiful orange that you can see, especially in the light there. You can see some of that orange peeking through. If you keep watching, you'll have to keep track of how many we find that day. We ended up finding a lot actually. There's another spectral bittersweet clam. Another scotch bonnet shell. Unfortunately, that one was a little bit beat up. You can see there's some holes, that tip is broken off, so that's too bad, but I probably still took it back with me. Here's a keyhole limpet. This one was very gray. Sometimes they'll come with more red coloring or green coloring but I liked it, so I picked it up. Here I saw something orange, and it was a little broad-ribbed cardita. We don't find a ton of them over here on the East Coast, but when I see them, I like to pick them up. something hiding in the seaweed there. Found a little miniature shell and I think it is a tiny triton shell. If you know what it is, comment down below.
Mr. Crab jumped out of his hole and I caught him running down the beach. What a funny little guy. Here's a big shell. This is a thorny oyster, I believe. Super yellow on this one and there's no thorns. It could also be a leafy oyster. Comment down below which one you think it is. And no surprise, another scotch bonnet. Look at that beautiful white color. Such a pretty shell. I really, really like it. And luckily we found a few of them that day. Picked up a mossy arc. This one didn't have as dark of that brown color and actually was a little chipped on the top. I spotted this guy from far away and as I got closer I realized that it is a sea hare. I've only seen them in some videos and I've seen pictures but I honestly didn't think that we would find them on the coast here and as you can see I'm picking the little guy up. I was checking to see if he was okay and I decided to put it back in the water. I figured that it was a sea hair just because of those spots that were on it, but I'm really not sure. I hope the little guy's okay. Hopefully he made his way back out to sea. Shark eye moon snail. Tiny one. And it is whole. Great. Not broken. Can you guess what this is? Comment down below, don't cheat. If you guess Scotch Bonnet, you're right. That one had the tip broken off, but like I said before, I love these shells and I took it home. Right near it was this turkey wing was broken so I put it back. We found another leafy oyster. This one was smaller. Here's a kitten's paw. Another turkey wing. This one was better off than the other one, so I took that home with me. Tiny lettered olive. The top was broken off of this one. You don't see that pointed tip like you usually do. Here's a chestnut turban. That was a good size. Oh, and it fell, so let me pick it back up and show you guys. This one had really nice colors, and I like all the little intricate details of them. So we took that home. A scotch bonnet, but this one was very broken. We found a lot of pieces of them usually, but this is the one beach where we always find a scotch bonnet. At least one, maybe two. Right near it was this auger. That pointed tip wasn't there. So we'll put that back. Here's a giant bittersweet clam. From what I know, as they get older, they lose some of that color on the outer edge. But you can see it at the bottom there. Picked up another lettered olive. A lot bigger than that other one I showed you, and this one was nice and shiny.
This poor turkey wing was missing half of it, but I still picked it up to appreciate it. Put it back for someone else. My boyfriend spotted something here and it took me a second to find it again. There it was sticking out of the sand. Is it a hole? Yes, it is. Yay! I think that it is a juvenile horse conch. See that beautiful yellow color on it? This was my most favorite find of the day. I literally couldn't see it. It's so tiny. Somehow I spotted this tiny checkered nearite sitting on the beach. If you've been counting in this video, this is Scotch Bonnet number six. Yes, we really found that many that day. And this one was a little different. It has this little piece on top. Don't know how that got there, but I took it home. Another mossy arc. This day was just unreal. Scotch bonnet number seven. And that was the last one of the day. And the last shell that we found it was a good ending to that shell adventure. Enjoying the last few minutes of our beach time and saying goodbye to the beach. Here's our haul. It has some leafy oysters, all of our scotch bonnets, giant bittersweet clams, some mini shells here, that shark eye, the cardita, the nearite, and a little triton shell, that juvenile conch, chestnut turban, and just wanted to show you that scotch bonnet again.